So the main reason I'm making this video is that as many of my subscribers may notice from this picture I currently have no pool table. I sold my old one and I'm still waiting for my new one to turn up so apologies that I haven't posted any videos recently. I often get asked questions in the comments about my queue and table etc so with a lack of a table to demonstrate on I thought I'd make a little video about some of the accessories that I use. As with most things like this, this is just my personal choice and what I like to use. Firstly, my old table was a 7 foot slate bed dining table. The dimensions of this table are 7 foot by 4 foot, which gives a playing area of 6 foot by 3 foot. This is a standard UK pool table and the size you'll find in most competitions as well as most local pubs. You can also get a 6 foot by 3 foot table when space is a little tight. What makes this table slightly different to a standard pub table is that it has a shallow cabinet so it allows you to get chairs underneath and use as a dining table when you place the top back on. The only downside I found to this table is that it's not quite as sturdy as a more traditional table with a deeper cabinet and it tends to move a bit if you bash into it. The cloth on this table is a Hainsworth Precision. This is a woolen napped cloth and offers excellent speed and ball control. At 230 grams per square meter it's a very fine cloth and the only problem I found with it is that it marks very easily. You can buy different grades such as Match and Smart which have weights of 390 GSM and 460 GSM which offer better durability but at the expense of a little bit of speed. Another alternative is to have a speed cloth which you tend to find on American pool tables. This is a woven cloth that has far greater durability and is incredibly fast. Cue ball control and spin is quite different on this type of cloth compared to a nap cloth and personally I find I have better control on a nap cloth. My new table on order is a 7 foot supreme winner. This is the same dimensions as the old table but with the deeper cabinet. For this table I've had it clothed with the fairly new Strachan Superfine with anti-kick technology. It's a nap cloth that's both lightweight and durable and it's the cloth selected by the IBSF for all of its tournaments in 2019 including the IBSF World Championships. I've played on it at a local pool hall and it's a beautiful surface to play on and incredibly responsive. I can't wait for mine to arrive. For pool balls I have a set of Super Aramith Pro Cup. You can just buy them in a box but I opted for this protective carry case because we use them in matches in our local league and it's easier to carry them around. The set comes with the 1 and 7 8 inch spotted cue ball and the striped black ball. These are more expensive than a standard set of balls that you might get with your pool table but the quality is exceptional and you'll certainly notice the difference when using them. This set also comes with a bottle of ball cleaner which just helps keep the balls in great condition. These are the best balls you can get and are used worldwide in tournaments and championships because of their quality. This is my queue, which is a handmade queue from tailor-made queues in Basildon. The queue is a three-quarter length queue with an ash shaft. Queues are very personal things and what's right for one person might not be right for someone else. The best advice I can give on choosing a queue is try and find a shop where you can try them out. The place I bought this from let me try several queues and I can't really tell you why I chose this one other than it just felt right for me. The tip on this queue is a 9mm Elk Master Pro. They come in soft, medium and hard and I opted for the medium. Again the size and make of the tip is very much down to personal preference. What I liked about this particular brand is that they are really long lasting and hold the chalk incredibly well. As far as size goes then it's fair to say that you will achieve more spin with a smaller tip but your queuing needs to be very straight and a larger tip makes it slightly easier to hit the ball straight but with slightly less action on the cue ball. This doesn't mean to say that you can't hit a ball straight with a small tip and that you can't get spin with a large tip. Again, it very much comes down to the player, their ability and their personal preference. The chalk that I use is probably a huge overindulgence but I'm a sucker for anything with the word pro in that might improve my game. It's Triangle Pro Chalk from Tweeton. As you can see it's slightly darker than the standard triangle chalk that's quite commonly used and it's marketed as having 
added ingredients to increase friction whilst creating a smooth feel and incredible grip. It's certainly a nice chalk and I do like it, but whether it merits being over five times as expensive as the standard chalk is open to debate. One last thing I wanted to show you was my key rack. You've probably seen it in the background on a lot of my videos. It's not going to do anything to improve your game, but it looks nice in my kitchen. I hope you found this information useful and I've put links to most of the products in the description below. Hopefully my new table will be with me soon and I can get back to making some more pool videos shortly. Thank you.